what I have to say would make a perfect bar area in my opinion. You've got all these cupboards over there as well as below, more of that granite countertop. So if you do want to turn this into a little bar area, you can. Otherwise, for breakfast, perfectly set out. And yeah, you can serve the family or serve any of your guests. And then of course, leading down these stairs, you find yourself within the first sitting room area. Now this sitting room area is serviced by an aircon and it has got absolutely massive ceilings. I love how high these ceilings are and how spacious this area is. The windows here leading out onto your front garden are all wood framed and quite large, letting in a lot of natural light. And this leads to what can only be described as your formal dining room area. An eight seater dining room table fits here with ease, with a chandelier dangling from the ceiling, lending an air of grandeur to a place where you really will be whipping up some of your best meals. Now this is back where we started. We walked through that front door. We stood where you're standing right now, looking down onto this area and out into the garden which is what I think we should talk about next. So we've got sliding wood room doors leading out onto your patio. And the nice thing is, so often these wood room doors can cause problems later on in life, but not in this home. And how cute is this little puppy here? Yeah? Not in this home because you've got this area completely surrounded by aluminum framed stackable sliding doors with those glass insert panels. So it keeps the wood protected from the elements, which I really like. And this whole patio is sealed off with that. So come out here with me, take a look at how large the patio is. Take a good gander, this gorgeous little pup over here coming up these stairs. But all of the openings have got these stackable sliding doors turning this outdoor area into a real indoor area when you need it. But there's a little bit more. Is right here, we've got some drywall. This patio is L-shaped, so it will curve all the way around to this side of the house with access into the other sitting room, which we're gonna take you to in a moment. But the owners have currently walled us off with some drywall just to make a private room there. However, you can, <laughs> however you can take that drywall down and utilize that however you see fit. So guys, let me get out of uh, the clutches of this little fluffy boy. Let's go into the sitting room and let's show you what the rest of this house looks like. So as hard as it has been, we've made it, we're back inside, and we've got to move through the rest of this home. So through the dining room area, we come up this flight of stairs, and here we are within the second sitting room area. That is the remainder of the L-shaped patio. So if you do take that drywalling down, this will be the door that you use to come back in to the sitting room. Now talking about this sitting room, again, air con, plenty of downlighting, which we like, but you've also got. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Click the like button. Thank you.